This area of South Carolina is gorgeous. So the last time we went to a slip, uh, it was a disaster. Though. So we're a little bit nervous. I'm gonna take it real slow. She says, you got it, guys. morning. Today we are leaving Georgetown. We've been here for about three days and heading north to Myrtle Beach. But before we leave, there's a bakery that we've been eyeing to try. And we're gonna start off the day right. Since we stumbled upon the farmer's market in Fernandina Beach, every Saturday that we're out of place, it's just like, oh, will there be a farmer's market today? And it looks like there is here in Georgetown, so we're gonna check it out. We got a loot at the farmer's market, but we'll show you what we got when we get onto the boat. We saw people from the bakery like going around to the different shops, and now they're officially open, so time to stop by and get a brekkie. So the people at Indigo Bakery were some of the friendliest people that we've met here. It was so nice. And they actually have two businesses in town. They also have a Indigo Mercantile. We can't wait to kind of chow down on our breakfast treats. And it looks like Pivot's still there, so that's always a good sign. Yep. All right, let's pull the anchor. Yep, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yep. Are you ready? What are you doing? Who do you think you are? Off the railing. Off. Bye, Georgetown. Thanks for having us. We really enjoyed getting to see the town and walking around and just enjoying the little southern charm here in Georgetown. Very cute with such a rich and very interesting history. So, we'll come back. <laughs> Even though the first few days here in Georgetown I had to work so weren't able to explore too much, I really liked this town. I mean, there, there's like river walk, reminded me of Venice in, a, in an odd way. I mean, just because it was basically like right on the water, which I thought was pretty cool. Definitely would come back here again. You know, they, it seems like a nice southern town. I think that their like waterfront like area with all of these boats is just so cool. And we just uh, passed by the marina that we were thinking about staying because we had problems anchoring, as you know. But by anchoring out there, like we had a little bit of stress because our anchor was dragging. Uh, but we basically saved like $270. So that would have been the cost of the marina for three nights. So I 100% would say that was worth it. So if you come to Georgetown, highly recommend anchoring. Just set your anchor well. And hopefully you have an anchor that works well in the mud. So our budget liked Georgetown, that's for sure.
farmer's market, we picked up a loot of fresh produce and it looks so beautiful. We also picked up a book for 50 cents at a little uh, stand that was selling books. So we got Florida water birds. So whenever we get back down to Florida at the end of our great loop, we will be able to um, identify the Florida birds. I got us a cinnamon roll for Elliot and a raspberry cheese danish for me. And they look so good. We are so excited to dive in. Wow, that is an amazing cinnamon roll. It's like really crispy on the outside, but soft on the inside. And you can tell that that icing is homemade. That gets an A1 in my book. Now I'll have to start swimming behind the boat to push it to work off the calories, but worth it. I got a raspberry and cheese danish and it looks amazing. Mm. Oh my gosh. I've been trying to eat really healthy over the past few days because we had been eyeing this bakery for days. Oh, this is so good. The raspberry is nice and sweet without it being too sweet. The cheese is nice and creamy. And the Danish is perfectly like flaky and oh, all together it's delicious. South Carolina is gorgeous. Uh, the river is just so peaceful and you couldn't have asked for a better day. Blue skies, the trees are so vibrant. Water is pretty calm in the river. It was pretty rough in, uh, after we left Georgetown, but it's just such a great day. And the environment here is just gorgeous. favorite thing in the whole world. Just kidding, it's like my nightmare. Time to dock. We are approaching our destination, Osprey Marina here in Myrtle Beach. About, I don't know, 10 minutes away? And so we're just trying to prep the boat as much as possible. We think this is gonna be a slip and not a T or like, you know, a long dock that we just kind of come up to. So the last time we went to a slip, uh, it was a disaster. That was an Astor Bridge on our maiden voyage. So we're a little bit nervous. Um, I'm gonna take it real slow. And um, yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. Ollie's not nervous at all. She says, you got it guys, you got it.
I'm drifting in, so I'm just gonna not do any throttle. And I'm yeah, you need to Hey! What's up, Andy? Good job, first mate. Thanks, babe. Our first time in a slip. Wow. We just arrived to Myrtle Beach. Thanks to our friends Andy and Gwen from Ecola. <sighs> Andy came to the rescue again and caught a line for us. So we um, had someone to catch a line, which was huge and so, so nice. And now we are kind of, um, we've done all the boat prep to make the boat like dock ready so she's hooked up to electric um, the lines are all good but now we're kind of doing a little bit of interior tidying up and getting um, a bedroom ready for a very special guest we have coming this afternoon my younger sister is coming to visit for a night um, because she goes to a college very very close to here and so we're just kind of like getting the boat ready for her visit and then she's gonna take us into Myrtle Beach It'll be fun. This is my sister Katie, and Hi. she is showing us around Myrtle Beach tonight. And I'm very happy to have my bestie back. And she's graduating next weekend, USC. Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> This is a video. <laughs> Girl, let me show you. You're my one and only, like I told you. I'll be there. And if you get blue, I got the loving for you. I'll be there. Your heartache, it kills me, but your loving, it thrills. great day. Jen and Katie here enjoying the evening and I am hitting the sack. Yeah. See you tomorrow. I'll be there. 